Greetings. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Well, we are involved in a thematic study of the resurrection in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We've been involved in doing some, and we are involved in doing some linguistic studies, some word studies from 1 Corinthians 15, and I introduced something to you that I really, really want to focus on right here. When those of us who believe in covenant eschatology affirm that the resurrection occurred in A.D. 70, and when we say that the Bible does not predict the raising of decomposed human physical bodies out of the grave, all of a sudden, People start jumping up and down and saying, oh my goodness, this is nothing but Gnosticism. Just this last week, I received correspondence from an individual who accused me of teaching Gnosticism. Now, by the way, uh, it's refreshing that one individual said, Dr. Preston, I have tended to say that preterism is Gnosticism, But after hearing some of your comments and following your thought more closely, I now understand it is not Gnosticism. Well, we appreciate that very much. That shows that someone is actually listening to what we are actually saying. In contradistinction to those who are making the argument, making the claim that preterism is Gnosticism. Now, Let me make a couple of clarifying points right here. Point number one, what is, what was Gnosticism? Gnosticism was the belief, one of the fundamental beliefs, the absolutely intrinsic belief of Gnosticism was that the human flesh, the human biological body is intrinsically evil corrupt. Do you catch that? Gnosticism's most fundamental doctrine said that the human biological flesh is intrinsically evil. Now, point number two is that you have never read And just recently, in a Facebook correspondence, when an individual accused me of being Gnostic, I challenged that individual to show from any of my writings, any of my videos, any of my preaching, at any point of time where I have ever said that the human biological body is evil, corrupt, intrinsically. You can't find that anywhere in any of my writings, my speeches, at any time. It is not there. Furthermore, I have never read, I have never heard any preterist at any time affirm that the human biological condition of flesh is evil and corrupt. Never! Those two points should send up all sorts of red flags when you read someone or hear someone say, ah, you know what, those preterists now, when they deny the physical resurrection, that's nothing but Gnosticism. Folks, anyone and everyone who makes the accusation that preterists, by denying a physical resurrection, are thereby Gnostic, are guilty of one of two things. Number one, they are totally ignorant of what Gnosticism actually taught. And if they are ignorant of what Gnosticism actually taught, then they are wrong to be throwing around accusations and labels that they don't even understand. Point number two, if they actually know what Gnosticism is, 
then they don't understand what preterists actually teach. So if they do not understand what preterists actually teach, then they ought to study and learn before making false accusations. Point number three. If they know what Gnosticism is, and if they know what preterists actually teach, but they make the accusation that preterists are Gnostics after all, then they are willfully, purposely making false accusations, which means they are guilty of telling a lie. Do you see how serious it is for people to say, oh, you preterists now, when you deny the physical resurrection, you are nothing but Gnostics. Folks, there could not be anything farther from the truth. We will have even more to say about this serious charge as we look, as we continue our word study. See, this is all related to Paul's statement that the body is sown in dishonor. Okay? Who is it that is teaching Gnosticism? Look, we got more to say about Gnosticism on the flip side, and you don't want to miss it. We'll see you there.